Hello, good Monday evening, everyone. This is Julie, and we are at Pandora World of Avatar at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hi! For tonight's trivia night. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Monday, start of your week. Hi, Dwayne. Hi, Shannon. And we are going to be starting trivia at 7 p.m., so in about four minutes. And tonight is all about Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi, continuing our Star Wars series. In past weeks, we covered Episode 4, A New Hope, and Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. So tonight, it's all about Return of the Jedi. Now, after today, we're gonna um, rest up on the Star Wars trivia for a bit, a couple of weeks, and then we'll be back to do the prequels, 1, 2, and 3. So next week it will be <laughs> awesome, Shannon. That's hilarious. <laughs> next week is gonna be something um, directly related to Disney. Not sure exactly what, but it's gonna be uh, something directly um, related to Disney and not a Disney property. Yeah, everyone, stretch, stretch those arms and get those brains ready. If you are just joining us, joining us, we are at Pandora, the world of Avatar at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hi Sherry, welcome back. Earlier we were with our um, VIP page, our Patreon page. We did, um, we walked around Africa, we did the Gorilla Falls Trail, and we also went on safari. We had an actual really good safari, I thought. The only animals we did not see were the lions. But other than that, we pretty much covered all the other animals, so it was a good safari. We're going to be starting our trivia in about two minutes. Two minutes just to give everyone a chance to get here since we did say seven o'clock. It's hilarious how people just stare at me when I'm talking to the phone. <laughs> it's funny when because I have the phone on my little tripod propped up on a trash can and I'm just like talking to the phone so everyone just stares at me. It's pretty funny. I'm not crazy. <laughs> and for you guys, remember that on Thursday, um, we will be on this page and also on our VIP page from Halloween Horror Nights. We will be doing all the scare zones. And for the VIP page, we're going to be showing Academy of Villains Afterlife live show. So make sure to come back for that. The event starts at 6.30, so we'll be popping in and out throughout the night from Halloween Horror Nights on Thursday night. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Jolene. All right, and it is 7 o'clock, and we are going to start our trivia for the night. It is all about Star Wars episode... Six, Return of the Jedi. So our first question as we always start our movie trivia questions, what year was Return of the Jedi released? What year was Return of the Jedi released? And if you're joining us for trivia night for the first time, we play for fun. We don't play for any prizes or anything like that. Just to spend some time having some fun. 1983 is the correct answer. Shannon got it first. It was released in 1983. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? 
I'm gonna eventually point the phone down a little bit so you see the people walking and just staring at me. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yes, Sherry, 1983. If you're just joining us, we are doing um, trivia night all about Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Next question. Jabba refers to Hans as his favorite what? Jabba refers to Hans as his favorite what? Hi, Jennifer. Michael got it right. Shannon got it right. As his favorite decoration. <laughs> yes, this was all in Jab um, Jabba's palace at the beginning of the film. If you are just joining us, we have started our trivia night. Tonight's all about Star Wars Return of the Jedi. And we are currently on question number three. We are overlooking the floating mountains in Pandora World of Avatar at Disney's Animal Kingdom. But soon we'll be able to go to a galaxy's edge in about two years. So excited. All right, next question. Why does Luke tell R2-D2 they're going to Dagobah? Why does Luke tell R2-D2 they're going to Dagobah? to an old friend that's correct he has a promise to keep to an old friend yes hi Moshi Next question. According to the Emperor, what will be Luke's undoing? According to the Emperor, what will be Luke's undoing? Yes, his compassion for his friends, his compassion for his friends will be his undoing.
All right, I'm gonna tilt you down a little bit to get a little bit of a different view. Hi, Lynn. Nice, Shannon. <laughs> you got a handy helper there. All right, next question. What were Vader's last words to Luke? What were what were Vader's last words to Luke? And it is three words. What were his very last three words to Luke? <laughs> yes. Shannon got it right right away. You were right. His very last three words were, you were right. <laughs> That's awesome, Shannon. I, I bet you're super excited for Galaxy's Edge. I am beyond excited. <laughs> you were right. That's what he said. All right, next question. Who goes undercover as a skiff guard in Java's court? I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here. Oh, she is right there. Who goes undercover as a skiff guard in Java's court? Shannon got it right. Jason got it right. Cynthia got it right. Eileen got it right. Yes, it is Lando. Cherry got it right. <laughs> Jessica got it right. I love the sunset here, it's really cool. I mean, you can't really see the sun, I'm saying how it looks on the mountain. It looks really, really cool. All right, next question. Who kills Jabba the Hutt? Who kills Jabba the Hutt? Yes, yeah, she does. Jason, Cynthia, Shannon, Eileen. Moshi, Princess Leia, Jessica, yes, Princess Leia finally kills Jabba. wearing a bikini no less. <laughs> Alright, next 
question. Who plays Yoda? Who plays Yoda? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's so fun. Shannon got it right. Jason got it right. Moshi got it right. Eileen got it right. Jessica got it right. It is the one and only Frank Oz. <laughs> she still got on film. F and Oz. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Hi, how are you, Gary? Yay! I'm happy you had a good time, though. <laughs> it was an adventure for sure at Animal Kingdom, right? Oh, good night, Sharon. Thank you for playing. go by super fast. I'm trying to show you guys the pretty colors of the sunset but my phone's not picking it up right now. Nope. Alright, next question. Who is the leader of the Rebel Alliance before the assault on the Death Star? Who is the leader of the Rebel Alliance before the assault on the Death Star? She does have skills. <laughs> Proving once again that Star Wars is for everyone, not just the guys. By the way, all the sounds you are hearing, they're Pandora sounds. They're not our natural earth sounds, just FYI. It's not that the crickets are overly active tonight. <laughs> These are just all Pandora sounds. All right, next question. Who plays the emperor? Who plays the emperor? Jason. 
It's Ian McDermid. It's M C D I A R M I D. <laughs> McDermid. Yeah. <laughs> Ian Mac. We'll call him that. I'm sure he would love that. <laughs> Lovely, lovely, lovely gentleman. Super, super nice. We met him during Star Wars weekends some years ago. Almost! <laughs> M-C-D-I-A-R-M-I-D. McDermott. Close enough though. Alright, next question. What is the name of the forest moon where the shield generator is? What is the name of the forest moon where the shield generator is? FYI, Pandora held up pretty well from Irma. It must be something about the gravitational pull or something, but I don't see a lot of damage here, which is very good. What is the name of the Ewok that befriends Leia and who played him? What is the name of the Ewok that befriends Leia and who played him? career after the original Star Wars films other than Harrison Ford. Ah, <laughs> we should have just tagged him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Does he at least like Star Wars, Shannon? Oh no. <laughs> that would have been really funny. True or false? True or false? Anakin does bring balance to the force. True or false? Anakin does bring balance to the force. Hi Jessica! <laughs> yes! Yes he does! It took a while, but he did it. <laughs> yes. It is true. Alright, for the next group of questions, these are all quotes. I will give you the quotes. You tell me who said it in Return of the Jedi. First quote. You are free of the carbonite. You are free of the carbonite. Jason, we can, yeah, we can have a whole discussion, can't we? Yes, Jason, Jessica got it right. It was Princess Leia. Shannon got it right. Eileen got it right. When they got it right. It was Princess Leia. Next quote. I'll never turn to the dark side. I'll never turn to the dark side. I am not getting any comments. The last comment I see is from Jessica and it says Skywalker. I'm gonna give it a second. Who said I'll never turn to the dark side? Princess Leia. I'm not getting any of your comments. So if you guys are commenting right now like crazy and I didn't see them, I apologize. 
the right answer is Luke, and you probably did put that in, but I did not get any of those comments. But it is Luke. Did you guys answer that and I just didn't get it? Sometimes that happens. Uh, that's fine, Hillary. <laughs> Next week, we're going to go back to regular Disney trivia, and we'll do the prequel movies another time. Yeah, Shannon, I just saw you. Yeah, it's weird. None of the Luke answers came up, and I knew you guys knew that, because knew that, that was a pretty easy one. All right, we will move along, move along. Next quote, who said this? Bring her to me. Bring her to me. <laughs> nope, not Darth Vader. Yes, Shannon. It is Jabba, Jabba the Hutt. Pandora is playing tricks, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Eileen, it is Java the Hut. Robin got it right. Sherry got it right. back I won't get in the way when he comes back I won't get in the way yes Jessica got it right Shannon got it right Jason got it right She got it right. Eileen got it right. <laughs> Sherry got it right. Oh, and the lights turned off. <laughs> Corinthian, yes. So, only with two S's instead of the C. All right, next quote. Yoda will always be with you. Yoda will always be with you. Yes, 
Shannon got it right. Brandon got it right. <laughs> Jessica got it right. Moshi got it right. It is Obi Wan. Yes, Lynn got it right. Eileen got it right. Sherry got it right. It is Obi Wan Kenobi. Next quote is You cannot hide forever, Luke. You cannot hide forever, Luke. Hola Miguel, ¿cómo están? And the last question and the last quote for the Star Wars The Return of the Jedi. Trivia, who said, it's a trap. It's a trap. when he goes to Starbucks. stolen jokes from Star Wars weekends. I cannot say these are mine at all. <laughs> yes. All right. We're gonna, you guys are gonna walk out with me. Let's walk out of the park. Thank you guys so much for playing. Next week we will go back to regular Disney trivia because even though we all love Star Wars, a lot of people come to this channel for more Disney oriented entertainment and that is all right so we'll go back to Disney trivia I next week I'm gonna be doing some um, Disney lyrics song lyrics maybe I'm gonna walk very slowly so we can see some of it some of Pandora lit up you can see already you can start it to see the the color is changing. Oh, you're welcome, Shannon. I'm glad you liked it. I think the guy, the actor, is that my Yeah. Is that guy? Yeah. Of course, ideally, this is great. 
in complete darkness, but... And I am the worst person at lyrics. I will change lyrics all the time. I am no good at it. It is really really beautiful actually. I like it actually better right now than in, in like complete darkness because you can actually tell what it is. I try to do it every Monday night. Sometimes we move it to Sunday nights depending. But uh, um, we try to consistently do it Monday nights, yes. But I always put a reminder so that um, you guys know. Ay, que chévere, Miguel. Just a reminder, I am the one in charge of our VIP stream, so we have a Patreon page, and that is STM VIP. And I come to the parks three times a week. We stream anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. Actually, today we streamed two hours um, for our VIPs, and I do that three times a week. And if you guys want to join, the information. Um, right there on this on the comments on this um, post and um, it's only five dollars to join a month and you can cancel anytime so if you guys want some additional content and um, enjoy my streams make sure to check that out when was opening day for Pandora it was in May right I think it was in May. It feels like a very long time ago, but I think it was in May. Stan, we just finished it. We started at seven o'clock and we just finished it. I'm sure you would have killed, but we just finished it. Not a lot of people join the Star Wars trivia, so it goes faster. Because not a lot of people are um, answering. So that's why. But next week, we're going to go back to Disney, and we will do Disney lyrics. Finish the lyrics. Oh, no. It's, it was actually Return of the Jedi. 95 minutes for Flight of Passage right now. probably gonna be an hour because they've been exaggerating those times and it is just starting to light up so everyone's taking their picture What's screaming, Kid Kevin? I'm sorry. Wow, Stan, that's impressive. That's a pretty one with the silhouette of the mountains in the back.
Gotcha. Nice. I don't enjoy is that drum circle show from Pandora. They really don't need that show. Leave the drums for the kids to do something, but they don't need that show. I love this bridge.
I honestly don't understand why people take pictures with flash to try and get the light. So pretty. Thank you for watching, Cherry. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Gonna rub it. And there it goes. That's what happens when you rub it. And then we go from the pretty Pandora scenery to the non bioluminescent scenery of Earth via a bridge. All the noise left behind. Yeah, and then when someone does it, then everyone does it too. Other than Pandora, the rest of the park is pretty quiet. You could honestly come, try and grab a fast pass for Flight of Passage, do um, Navi River, and then go to the rest of the park during this time and do all the rides in a matter of like an hour. I mean the big rides like Dinosaur and um, Everest, they're all walk-ons right now. Uh, Primeval World. I would not recommend doing Safari at night though. It's very hard to see anything. The light up stand for the Mickey bubble machine. Look at that. Very cool. Yes, Everest is amazing and at night it's so much fun. The other day I came with my son and we did it uh, twice in a row. And I mean, we could have kept going, but he wanted to do other things, but yeah. I think the drivers have to be yeah, amazing. Because you can't really see anything at night when it's completely dark. At, at um, sunset, it's really good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be back on this page on Thursday from Universal Studios 
Halloween Horror Nights will be popping in and out throughout the night starting around 7. And for the VIP page, I will also be going Sunday. It looks like a resort. We're taking a poll right now on the VIP page. So I think the resort is winning at the moment. So we'll pick out a resort for Sunday. Thank you guys so much for playing. Next week we will do some Disney lyrics. Um, I'll let you know exactly when and what time. In the meantime, I hope everyone has a wonderful week. And I will see you Thursday. Good night, everyone.